for this question given a function of x times cos x so it will be a linear times a trigonometry we need to show this integration equals to pi over 2 minus 1 So to integrate x cos x, we are using integration by part where we need to define what is your u and what is your dv. So integration by part to select u, we have to choose that we will choose according the priority of the function which is log back, logarithm, polynomial, trigonometry, then trigo. So we have a polynomial come first after trigo. Therefore, our u need to select is x. Then, the rest of the part here will be dx. The rest of the part cos x dx will be our dv. So, for u part, we're going to differentiate. Why we need to differentiate? Because in integration by part, formula will be integrate u dv equals to u v minus integrate v u so we need to find out what is our u what is our v and what is our d u therefore for u we're going to differentiate u with respect to x we get one d u equals to dx meanwhile for dv we integrate both sides so that integrate one dv we have v integrate cos x integrate cos x we will get sine x then after that we're going to substitute into our integration by part formula so uv with upper limit pi over 2 lower limit 0 integrates v which is sine x du which is dx so we integrate the second part of this it will be integrate sine it will give us negative cos Therefore, negative, negative become positive. So together, then the next step we're going to substitute this upper limit minus lower limit. So once we substitute pi over two and sine pi over two plus cos pi over two minus lower limit when we substitute zero everything becomes zero because zero times sine zero then minus cos zero so sine pi over two equals to one therefore here will remain pi over two meanwhile cos pi over two equals to zero and then cos zero equals to one so therefore we manage to prove this So which part is important here is the first one is the way we select u and dv here it will be the first concept using integration by part and then find du and v correctly then we're going to use the by part formula the concept of by part formula and we integrate the sign to become cos Lastly, we substitute the value upper limit and prove it we can get until pi over 2 minus 1.